Hello and welcome back to your mats. This is the last class I'm recording for the year, for 2022 that is. So we're going to look forward into the new year. Now this class could actually be done anytime. It doesn't have to necessarily be around the new year, but we're gonna look forward and think about what we wanna bring into our lives. So this is gonna be a future class. So we're gonna be thinking about the qualities we'd like to bring into our life, going forward into the new year, or the next new week, or new month, or new day. So we're gonna do some strengthening pose that's gonna help build us some confidence here and really help us achieve all that we hope, hope to, do, to achieve. So for today's class, it'd be helpful to have a block uh, for a couple of the poses potentially. So this is optional, you don't need it, but I would have one handy just in case. And we'll start with a quote by Mandy Hale. Trust the weight, embrace the uncertainty, enjoy the beauty of becoming. So keep that in mind throughout today's class and going forward into the future. So we're gonna start in mountain pose, staying at the top of our mat. Go ahead and come with your feet about hip distance apart from each other. Have them slightly closer in if you like or slightly further out depending on your, your hamstrings if they're tight. Go ahead and arise here for a moment. And again, think about the qualities that you would like to bring in to your life for the future here. Nice inhale. And on the exhale, go ahead and step that right leg back and do a high lunge. So we're going straight back. And my heel is not on the ground. It's off of the ground. And my knee, left knee is deeply bent. So we're in a nice high lunge here. Now the arm variation today can be whatever you like. It can be up overhead. It can be interlaced behind your back. If your shoulders are tight, I recommend this. It can be arms and hands in prayer. Pick what is working for you today, what feels good in your body, and we'll keep help you with your stability here. So if you find that you're wobbly in this pose, um, go ahead and move your, your feet out wider on your mat. That will give you a more stable, wider base. So try that if that helps with your stability. Otherwise, go ahead and come into this pose with the arms however you would like today. Breathe here. And then we're going to... Exhale, go ahead and come back, come into a warrior one. So go ahead and adjust your stance. So now that back foot is, comes in a little bit and it's at a 45 degree angle here. Your hips are still square toward the front of your rim. So we're still, right now we're looking out into the future. We're looking in front of us to see what qualities we wanna bring into our life. Breathe here. Again, arm variation, whatever is best for you today. And then we're gonna open up into warrior two. So adjust that stance. And now bring your back foot around. So now your hips are open to the side and you're going for your heel to arch alignment from the back, the back arch. Go ahead and breathe here and you can bring your arms out to the sides. And now you're looking over that front hand. And again, looking into the future. What qualities do you wanna bring into your life? Either in the new year, or maybe you're practicing this different time in the new month, in a new week, or even a new day. Each one is a chance for a clean slate. You don't have to wait for a new year. You can do this, you can think about this from a daily perspective, or weekly, or a monthly. And then go ahead and inhale and exhale, and we're gonna reverse that warrior. So bring your right hand down your back leg and your left arm up overhead. Open up this nice side body here. Take some breaths here. We're gonna stay in this pose for just a moment. Really envisioning what we wanna bring into our lives. And we're gonna exhale and come into a side angle pose. So go ahead and bring your left elbow down to your left leg and your right arm will go up overhead and reach out over, over top. And if you are able, go ahead and spin that chest to open up towards the sky. Breathe there. Now we're gonna transition into a bit of a more of a challenging pose. So I'll show you the pose and then you do your best with it. It's a balancing pose and it is challenging. You may need a block for this. So I'll show it with a block. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift our weight. I'm gonna go ahead and move back a little bit here. We're gonna shift, we're gonna have the front leg is bent. We're gonna shift our weight, bring our left, our left hand to the block 
and then <laughs> when you feel steady and ready, you're gonna rise that le that back leg up. You can leave the other arm dangling for now to get your balance. Keep your gaze wherever is best for you. If this is really hard for you on balance, you could do this up against a wall. That would be a really great variation of this pose because when you're up against the wall, I don't have a wall to show you, but you can use that to help hold you up. And your hand can also be on the ground if you find that works for you too, but I'm showing with a block because most people need a block initially. So rise that, that back leg up. You can have the, the, the left leg can be bent slightly if you need. And if you feel steady and ready, you can turn your gaze to the right and your right arm will go up. This is obviously harder and more challenging. So just do your best. If you fall, come back into it. And you can always just tap your foot up and down until you really get your balance there. So see what works best for you. Breathe here and exhale and come back into your warrior two. Go ahead and release into warrior two there. Notice how you feel after trying that challenging pose. Did you fall out? That's okay. It's all part of it. It's fun to try something new and see how you do in it. And again, you can always use a wall. You can, there's other variations and ways to do this. All right, we're going to go ahead and now we're going to come into triangle pose. So go ahead and straighten out that, that front leg. Grab that block. Put that next to your left foot. And you can shorten the stance here if you would like to a little bit. And then go ahead and reach out as if you're holding a tray up to give to someone. Stretch forward and then bring that left hand down to the block. Right arm up overhead. And really stretch open here. You can always feel your whole side body here and long. You can always have a slight bend in that front leg. And then go ahead and circle your hands down to the ground. Move your block out of the way and come back into a downward facing dog. So really stretch that out. You can pedal out your legs if you'd like here. Feels nice to just let all that go. Go ahead and stay there for another breath. See how you feel now. How are you feeling with that? Are you you're feeling empowered and strengthened from that pose. And then we're going to go ahead and walk forward onto our mat. Look forward. Inhale, halfway lift out. You can use your block or you can put your hands to your shins. Exhale, fold in. And then inhale and rise all the way back up and come into mountain pose. So now we have the other side to do. So you know where we're going. You know what we're going to be doing. So let's get started. So go ahead and come into your mountain pose again. Breath there, and let that out. And then go ahead and step that left foot back and come into your high lunge. So you're gonna, your heel will be off the ground, your left heel will be off the ground, your right knee is deeply bent. Pick the variation for your arms that works best for you. Breathe here in this, this nice lunge here, feeling empowered and strengthened for the year ahead, the month ahead, the week ahead, or even the day ahead. Whatever you, whenever you may be practicing this. And then go ahead and now adjust into warrior two. So go ahead and bring that left foot out to about a 45 degree angle. Your hips will stay squared toward the front of the room. We're still looking forward here, looking at what our future may be. And again, when you're looking at things you want to, qualities you're going to bring into your life, this isn't about, you know, setting impossible goals or resolutions that you know that you'll never keep. Instead, think about, instead of thinking about um, things you want, you have to do, think instead of like just the qualities, just things that you would like to invite in that is going to make your life better. So that might mean getting rid of a habit. Go ahead and shift into warrior two now. So go ahead and open up that stance. And now your hips are, I'm going to turn around so you can actually see me. So you go ahead and stay there, but so my right leg is still bent forward. Go ahead and open up here into your warrior two, looking out over that front hand. Think about the qualities you want to invite into your life. So if that means you need to, maybe there is a habit you have that you'd like to get rid of, 
how can you get rid of that? How can you get rid of that by bringing something positive into your life? So you replace the thing you don't want with something that you do. That's one of the best ways to make those goals stick. And then on the exhale, we're going to go ahead and exhale back into reverse warrior. So go ahead and bring your arm up overhead, your left arm down your left leg, keeping that front leg bent. Breathing here, looking up, feeling empowered and strengthened. Exhale and come forward into a side angle now. So go ahead and bring that your right elbow down to your right knee and open your body up. Bring that left arm up overhead. Really feeling empowered and strengthened here. Now you know where we're going next. So if you know you need that wall space or you need something nearby to help you hold you up or you need your block, go ahead and grab your block and bring it to the front. In this case, I'm going to do this one without the block this time. We'll see how that goes. So go ahead and bring yourself up. Adjust your stance a little bit if you need to. And then bend that front knee forward. Rock forward. Bring your... <laughs> don't fall over. Well, try not to fall over. Bring that right hand down to the mat. And now your left back leg will come up. So you can stay here with your arm, your hand on your, on your hip. Or if you feel steady and ready, you can turn and look to the left and bring that left arm up. So find what works best for you here. If you need to be up against a wall, if you need to tap your foot down, that's fine. You need to have a bend in your knee, whatever you need to do. Breathe here, open up expansive and exhale back into warrior two as gracefully as possible. <laughs> that was not graceful. I'm on uneven ground, to be fair, but still. All right, there's our warrior two. So hopefully, yes, you embrace that challenge. You may not have liked it. You might have fallen out a few times. But that's okay. It's just about trying it and seeing what happens. So you're in your warrior two there. Now we're going to come into warrior, oh, sorry, not warrior, triangle. So go ahead and adjust your stance if you need to. Make it a little shorter. Straighten that front leg. And now I'm going to show this about the block. So if you don't have a block, you can go ahead and bend forward reaching out, and then just bring your hand down to your shin, a block if you have it, or the floor. And that left arm can go up and open your body up to the left here. Really feeling strong, empowered. When you feel empowered, your confidence is up, it goes up. You feel like you can tackle things. So when you feel strengthened, sometimes it allows you to try something maybe you would have tried before. And then go ahead and bring your hands down to the ground. And we're going to step back into a nice downward facing dog. Really stretch all that out. See how that feels. And then let's drop down to our knees for just a moment. How are you feeling? Do you feel the blood kind of pumping through your body? Do you feel a bit more empowered? Do you feel like, yeah, I could do that again? So if you feel like you do that again, we're going to go through another round. If you'd like to just take a break and maybe just watch or do some of it, you can. Okay, so if you have it in you, we're going to do one more round. But this time, we're, we're not going to hold each pose. We're going to go through it a little bit quicker. So go ahead and set yourself up. Let's get into warrior, I'm sorry, mountain pose, excuse me. Arrive here in mountain pose. And the exhale, go ahead and step that right leg back into high lunge. Rise your arms up overhead if you like, or behind you. And then shift into warrior one, excuse me, warrior one. Hips are still square to the front of the mat. Open up into warrior two, feel the arch alignment, and now your hips are open to the side. Arms out in front of you, look over that front hand. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale and come forward into that side angle pose. Go ahead and look down at the ground. Shift your weight forward. Come into that half moon. So when you're steady and ready, again, you can leave that, that right arm down by your side. Lift that leg back up anytime you want. And the arm can go up and you can look to the other side if you like, to the right, or you can keep looking down and keep the arm down also. That may help with your balance. Shift back into your warrior two, as gracefully as possible. Now come into triangle pose. Go ahead, straighten that front leg. Right arm goes up overhead. 
Bring both your hands down to the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Give yourself a nice stretch here. And then go ahead and walk forward on your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come all the way back up, back to your mountain. And let's do the other side. Go ahead and step back to your high lunge. Come into your warrior one. Hips are still square to the front of the room. Open up into your warrior two, adjust that stance. Arms up to the sides, looking out over that front hand. Inhale and reverse that warrior, come back. Exhale and come on into your side angle pose. Left arm up overhead now. And now we're gonna look toward the ground, shift our weight forward. Come into the half moon pose whenever you feel ready. Balancing, feeling strong and empowered here, even if you wobble and fall out. Hold in another breath. Step back carefully into warrior two. My dog may be joining us. Yep, looks like she ran through the video for you. <laughs> There's Josie. Warrior two, all right, and then into triangle pose. Come on down with that front leg straight, left arm up overhead. And then bring both your arms down. Step back into downward facing dog for a breath or two here. Congratulate yourself for going through another round of that. You should really feel hopefully some strength, some empowerment and some confidence. Go ahead and drop down to your knees and we'll come all the way down to our stomachs. We'll come into a nice cobra pose, a couple of rounds of cobra to release all of that. So bring your forehead down to the mat. Your hands are at about chest level. Inhale and rise up. Any amount. This can be a small cobra. Just keep the shoulders out of your ears. Keep them on your back, down your back. And exhale and lower back down. Another round. Inhale. And rise up. And exhale back down. Go ahead and tuck your toes. And now we're going to flip over onto our back. And we are going to do a happy baby and close out. So go ahead and come onto your backs here. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself this really good hug because this was a, this was a more challenging class. But sometimes it's nice to try something and see how we do. And then go ahead and grab a hold of your, your, your feet, the soles of your feet or you can grab behind your knees, wherever is best for you. But your knees are pointed down there, they're at a 90 degree angle here, and your soles of your feet are pointed up. So wherever you need to hold to make that happen. Really open and stretch all that out. Take a nice breath. And then go ahead and bring those knees to your chest again. Give yourself a hug and release your whole body into Shavasana on the mat. So go ahead and leave your have your legs outstretched, your arms outstretched. Go ahead and bring yourself into Shavasana. Get comfortable here. Go ahead and let yourself just really let go into the mat. You deserve it after that challenging rounds of, of empowering and challenging poses. So just release into the mat. Let everything go. Stay here for just a moment. We're, I'll let you go here in just a minute. Breathe here. Let everything go into the mat. And again, I want you to think about what qualities do you want to bring into your life? Whether it's the new year, the new month, the new week, or it's a new day. Each are an opportunity for a blank slate. So what would you like to bring into your life that would enrich your life and make you happier and healthier? Think about that for just a moment. Go ahead and stay in Shavasana. and I'm going to leave you with a quote by Mark Twain. I know we've already had one quote for today, but I feel like a second quote, this one's all is very um, appropriate. So go ahead and stay there in Shavasana. The quote is by Mark Twain. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. I'll say that again. 20 years from now, 
you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So keep that in mind as we release into Shavasana here. I'm going to go ahead and leave you in Shavasana. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this class. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope that it empowered you a bit and gave you some confidence going into whatever you might be going into a new year, like I said, or one of the other options, week, day, month, whatever it might be. Don't always have to wait for a new year. You can always begin again each day. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.